it's me. Missed me? <laughs> so, something the matter? You didn't call for me? Mm, I don't know, I just felt like visiting you. What was it called again? Oh, telepathy, maybe? <laughs> Come on, I'm just trying to lighten up the mood. You know, if you're not ready to share it, that's okay. Oh, no worries. Mm, let's see, how about I just stay here with you? You know, just for the rest of the night. When the sun is up, I will disappear and return to my world, you know. Of course, do you want me to keep it a secret? I can ask the god of contracts to make a pact. Oh, just kidding. I won't. I promise. So? A relationship? Oh, you... You broke up with them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. So, how do you feel about it? You don't know? And... You're feeling guilty? For getting out of that relationship? Why? You want to hear my thoughts? Well, okay. I will be honest with you, hmm? Well, you've been complaining about them for some time now. And many times I see you crying yourself to sleep. I've seen all the hurtful words they've been calling you. And recently it's gotten worse. No, no, I mean... You're always saying that it's your fault, so you deserve those words. But honestly, I don't think so. You know we all make mistakes, and for argument's sake, yes, even if it's your fault, don't you think calling you stupid and useless and all those really hurtful things, don't you think it's all too much? I don't think you should say that to any person, much more to someone you claim you love. And besides, it's not entirely your fault. So why are they only blaming you? Why not take accountability for, for their share of mistakes? Yeah, every single small thing that you do, they flip out at you. Did they even properly apologize to you? Like, really properly apologize. I'm so sorry if what I said was too much. It just pains me to see you blaming yourself all the time. You're always getting hurt. You're always accepting the blame. You're... You're always the one making sacrifices. When it should be... The two of you should work on this together. For many months, they tried to keep you from meeting friends, and heck, even family. Who does that? Is that really how someone who loves you should, should behave? No, that's just selfishness. And insecurity, if you ask me. A relationship should be between equals, right? They should be treating you as an equal. Listen, you're a very kind person. You always put others over yourself. And that's why you end up putting yourself down many times. But, you know, I'm thankful to have you as a friend. You don't realize how important you are, how warm you are. So I really hate that someone is making you suffer when you don't deserve to. And you know, I think that breaking up with that person was super brave of you. 
I know you tried to get out many times, and, I, and how you think that no one else will love you if you leave them. I hate that they made you think like that. It's just... <sighs> but that's absolutely not true. We love you. A lot of people love you. And most importantly, you must never, ever, ever forget to love yourself above all. I know it's not easy, but I'm super proud that you mustered up the courage to break that cage. You're free. You just stood up for what you deserve. You deserve peace, happiness, and a life free from toxicity and manipulation. So don't ever blame yourself. Okay? Hmm? <laughs> Come here. You're a very, very, very brave person. And I'm super proud of you. So don't ever let them or anyone say otherwise. Hmm? You did your best. And you've sacrificed enough. It's okay. It's okay to heal from now on. No, no, it's not your fault. Absolutely not. Okay? Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. Many of us are behind you, and many more will come, so trust me, it's okay. We all make mistakes, and what matters more is that you did your best, and now you decided to leave that unhealthy place and that extremely unhealthy person. You should be very proud of yourself. Come on, no more tears, hmm? <laughs> There you go. So, um, what would I suggest? Of course, it's not going to be easy, but... How about this? How about you start taking a hobby? Remember, you said you've always wanted to try something, but they wouldn't let you? Why not do that? Uh-huh, it's your childhood dream, right? Well, it's never too late. What matters is, from now on, try to make yourself happy. You deserve to be happy. <laughs> and if they go and bother you again, well, I'll go and teach them a lesson. <laughs> no, just kidding. Maybe. <sighs> It's okay. Take your time, follow your dreams. But when the time comes that things get too painful, it's okay to take a pause, rest as much as you should. And when you're all charged up, then you can go and start walking again. There are a lot of people who will help you, so don't be afraid to reach out. And if you make mistakes again, if that's what you're worried about, then... Then if you make a mistake, Take a pause, and start all over again, and again, and again, and again. But every time you do, you're not back at the same place. You start a much wiser and stronger person, just like now. Oh, it's almost time. I have to go. Don't be afraid, okay? We're always rooting for you. Now take a rest. You deserve it. See you later, my friend. And if you need help, you can always call me. Goodbye.